Hello, my name is Andriy Smirnov. I'm engineering lead at Sidero Labs. And today I'm going to show you one of the Talos OS features called Cluster Discovery. This feature is part of a bigger product called CubeSpan, but in this video we're going to focus on the Cluster Discovery itself. Cluster Discovery solves a problem of knowing what are the members of the cluster. Uh, usually with Talos, you had to rely on Kubernetes nodes to see what's in the cluster. And it has a problem that it relies on Kubernetes control plane being up. It doesn't show you the nodes which haven't joined the cluster yet. So with Talos 013, we're adding a new feature to uh, show information about cluster members independent of the Kubernetes itself. So let me jump straight to the demo. I have a cluster deployed here, which has three control plane nodes and two worker nodes. And now with Talos CTL, I can see cluster membership easily. So I'm going to do cluster CTL get members. And this shows me information about all cluster members, including the node itself I'm using to send this query to. That's the first node of the cluster. Uh, for each node, I can see the host name, machine type, Talos OS version, and also addresses assigned to the node, which includes all addresses on, on that node, which gives you uh, more information already. Uh, the way this feature works is that each Talos node sends information about itself in encrypted format to the discovery service, which is a service running in the cloud. Discovery service collects information about each member of the cluster, which is still encrypted and discovery service has no access to the actual data. And discovery service distributes this information to every member of the cluster. So every member of the cluster gets this information back, decrypts it, and presents that as a cluster membership view. And uh, one beautiful thing about it is that it actually uh, updates in real time. So let me show you that. So I'm going to launch the same comment in watch mode. I'm going to watch the member resources here. Uh, so this shows the initial state. And now I'm going to assign additional address to the node master2. So I'm going to edit machine configuration of the node master2. And I'm going to attach additional address here. I have one static address attached. And I'm going to add another one, just as an example. And as soon as I submit the new machine configuration to the master2 node, it's going to assign additional address to itself and also send the updated information to the discovery service, which will distribute it back to the node master1. And I will see in the upper part of my window uh, an update about the member state. So as soon as I save the configuration, I can immediately see that information about the node master2 got updated and now it has additional IP address here. So cluster discovery works using this, this public discovery service, which at the same time uh, doesn't see any actual information about the Talos nodes, but only the encrypted bytes. So it, there is no like privacy concern here. And also, uh, discovery service doesn't store any information in the database. Information is stored only in memory, and it expires after 30 minutes. So if the cluster is destroyed after 30 minutes, there will be no traces of that information. In addition to the discovery service, we also have a fallback way of storing this information in the Kubernetes uh, resources. So Talos attaches annotations to the Kubernetes node resources to describe information about the nodes and uses that to also power the uh, cluster discovery. 
Uh, internally, behind the scenes, these two sources are merged together and the final consistent view is presented as the cluster membership. As a final note, I would like to say that uh, this feature is not enabled by default in Telos 013, uh, but it will be enabled by default in Telos 014. So to use this feature, please deploy Telos 013 and enable it explicitly in the machine configuration. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, please feel free to reach out to us at Sidero Labs. Thank you.